To access the mail rules page, you can either go to the rules under tools or you can click more and then go to the mail rules, manage rules. So in here I have already created two sample mail, mail rules, but let's create new one. Let's click new rule. On top you can choose to enable or disable. You can also specify the conditions, such as when the sender name contains a specific word or if the subject contains a specific word, just for example. Then you can tell the mail rule what to do with those mails. You can specify the actions. If you want to move the mail to a specific folder, if you want to create a copy on a certain folder, or you want to send a copy to someone, etc. Let's say move the folder, select a folder. Then click on add action. So these two buttons here on below, run now on inbox and run now on all documents, is only present on mail, R10 template, and above. This means that the rule can be imposed on existing emails. Also, this, this feature is not available on mail R9 and below, meaning mail R9 and below can only process incoming emails and not existing ones. So it, I will not create this mail rule and will just focus on the mail rules that I have created. So let's activate this one. Let's run this mail rule. On my inbox, I have three emails that came from administrator. So this, those mails should be moved to the from administrator folder. Let's double click and then run now on inbox. Click OK. So we also received a confirmation that the mail was successfully run and that the mails were moved. Let's run the, the second mail rule, which when the subject contains a specific word. On my inbox, I have one mail that has important on the subject line. Let's double click and then run on inbox. Click OK. And as well, we received a confirmation that the mail was successfully ran and that the mail was move to the important folder. That's it for this video. Hopefully you learned a lot from this and thank you so much for watching.